So, I'm excited about this. One of my favorite, aside from Breaking Bad, one of my favorite shows on television is Shark Tank. It is an awesome show. And it's just so interesting to see, because it's kind of like an invention show, and it's a business show, and it's an entertaining show, but you got these four really accomplished people who uh, are getting pitched uh, ideas that could become the next big thing. Well, it's a look behind the curtain. That's why you're getting to see <coughs> the nitty gritty. That's right. So um, Damon John is one of the sharks, and he's a very accomplished guy and uh, a mega successful. And he is joining us right now, and I'm going to pitch him TMZ the way I would have done in 2005. I want to see if this shark will bite. So Damon, welcome to TMZ Live. Thank you, thank you, Harvey. What's happening? So, number one, congratulations on the show. It's just, you know what? Sometimes I get nervous when I watch. When I watch, when I watch you grill these people like cheeseburgers to see if they're <laughs> going to stand up uh, to the questioning, because you guys really have an mo on how to really kind of cut to the core to see if they've done the work to make their businesses successful. Yeah, you know, we get nervous for them too, but when we start peeling back that onion and we get right to the heart of it, sooner or later we're going to un uncover something. Do you guys have an MO going into this, by the way? I mean, is this, is this the kind of thing where you kind of write this stuff out and you think, okay, here's the things I want to ask about this, or is it literally off the cuff? It's literally off the cuff. We never, we don't know anything about these individuals. We don't get any kind of paperwork. Because think about it, if half the time if I got a piece of paper about these individuals, I would say, don't send them in. You know, they, they already, they, they, their idea sucks already. So we really just grill those individuals right there, and sometimes those pitches last as long as two and a half hours. Wow. Oh my God, wow. Um, let me ask, just, I don't know if you've figured it out. Over the course of the show now, how long has it been on, four years, five years? Four years, this is the fifth season right now. Uh, how have you done personally? First year, I lost a couple of dollars. Uh, <laughs> second year, I lost a couple of dollars. Third <laughs> <laughs> Third year, I made it all back because all you need is one hit. Uh, fourth year, I, I we made some money, and um, I'm excited about this year. So I think it was about us learning about how to deal with these entrepreneurs as well as the casting. You know, these these people who cast for us, they didn't they weren't really business majors necessarily, but after four or five years, they know what Damon, Mark, Lori, Barbara, Robert, and Kevin are going to ask, you know? Wait, Damon, I got a question. Do you actually do deals outside of Shark Tank as well, or do you just strictly stick to Star Shark Tank? Oh, no, absolutely. I do deals outside of Shark Tank. I just did a great uh, deal with a company called Fuse Science. Uh, you know, some of the other ambassadors there are Tiger Woods, Andy Murray, Aaron Foster, David Ortiz, and Paul Pierce. It's a it's a product that you can take uh, subdermally or sublingual, and it goes right into your system, and it helps you with everything from hydration to, to energy. Okay, Damon, here's the deal. I am going to, I want to pitch you TMZ, but I want to okay. pitch it to you from 2005, okay? And I, and, and, and I, I can easily go back in time on this because I remember it vividly. So I want you to go back with me to 2005, and I want to see if you would buy this, Okay. Okay. And you can't think of what TMZ is today. You got to really think back to 2005 when it was nothing. Okay. All right. Hit me. Okay. So here's the deal. So Damon, look, there is nothing online right now where there's like a news operation um, that you know you go online and you want to find out about something in celebrity news um, or any other area of news, and it's like 50% it's going to be true and 50% it's all BS. So what right. what I want to do is I want to set up a news operation, a celebrity news operation, where you can um, where you can have the same kind of standards that you have in any other news operation. I've worked at NBC and CBS and the LA Times and all these places. And I can right. tell you, we're gonna have lawyers, we're gonna have researchers, we're gonna have producers, we're gonna fact check everything. And the idea here is this, that if we get really good stories, we can beat television, we can beat magazines, we can beat newspapers because when you get it right, you get it up. You don't have time periods like television has where you have to wait. You don't have publishing cycles like magazines and newspapers where you have to wait. If we get something at 8.32 on a Friday night, boom, it goes up. We don't have to wait till the next television show. It's a very simple premise, but it seems to me that there's a, a gap in the marketplace there and people are going online more and more. And if you have a news operation, it just seems like it would work. And I want uh, $500,000 from you and I will give you 5% of the profit if you give me the $500,000.
Okay, so Harvey, you're evaluating this at $10 million. We just got out of an internet bubble that just popped and everybody lost all their money. It was about 2001, 2002. I think uh, entertainment news, uh, you know, they'll, they'll probably do that on EW. You'll go to an offline thing. I don't think anybody really wants to look on, on their smartphones or on uh, their computer for it. And your valuation is crazy. I never even heard of you before this. Um, I'm out. Uh, well, uh, well, 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 you, you're, not, you're out without, like, you won't even let me answer you? No, no, that's, that, that's, that's, this is crap. It'll never make it. Don't quit your day job. I'm out again with extreme prejudice. I love it. I've just been outed. <laughs> <laughs> That's the beautiful thing about Shark Tank, you know. I'm sitting up there with five other uh, really smart individuals. We we may all be out, but we don't know the next TMZ. We don't know the next Pet Rock or Snuggy that's going to come in the door. And sometimes Shark Tank highlights the people that we said you're radioactive. You're never going to make it, and they go out and prove us wrong and do ten million dollars in business. Okay, I just have one other question. Would Cuban have bit? Cuban would have because, you know what, Cuban says he's the luckiest man in the world. He, he sold, uh, you know, his, his streaming and everything else like that. He sold that for billions of dollars, and they ended up never even using it. Cuban would have bid on that one, and, and I would have been sorry that I didn't. Harvey, <laughs> Harvey you left a, a part out, though, because uh, Damon's really into branding, and you could have that TMZ, you should have been your pitch. That TMZ brand can be used on all sorts of other things that, that could have been marketable other than just the news. Yeah, but Damon will tell you that in order to brand, you got to make one thing successful yeah. first, and that's what I was pitching him, and he, he, he shut me down. Sure Damon, we love your show. Thank you, guys. Thanks, and, Damon. and Damon, seriously, it's gone down to 2%. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, good luck in the show this season. Uh, let's, take, right. let's take a break. Let's take a break.